in the younger population as compared with the, the elderly population, Dr. Gupta? Sarah, our uh, audience should know one very, very important issue here. See, young person when comes to us, we know that this person has a lifespan of say 30 years or 40 years to live still. Someone comes to me at the age of 30, I'll say at least he has to be there in this world for the next 40 years. And for that, you have to be very, very aggressive for achieving good glycemic control. So a young person who is coming to me without any comorbidity, without any complication, I will try to achieve my, I'll fix my target first. And I'll say that HbA1c should be less than 6.5 in this person. Fasting should be less than 120. post prandial I'll try to keep it less than 160. And I'll try to keep all their A, B, C, D, uh, their blood pressure, their lipid profile, everything to be under very good control. Within six months, we try to achieve that so that the future complications can be prevented because this person has to live longer and have to live healthy and he has to be more productive in subsequent phase of their life. When it comes to an elderly person, the hypoglycemia is one of the most important aspect of treatment of elderly person. Hypoglycemia may precipitate, severe hypoglycemia may precipitate some of the complications like coronary artery disease or stroke in a patient. And that is why one should be very careful of using a drug in elderly people and should avoid that side the targets in elderly will not, HbA1c will not be 6.5, but it may be 7, sometimes 7.8. Someone, some, someone comes to me at the age of 80 years, I am also comfortable with HbA1c of 8. I will not try to achieve a fasting of 110 or 120. I will try to keep it around 30, 130, 140. I will avoid giving below, uh, going below uh, mean blood glucose of 100. I will try to keep blood glucose of postprandial maybe near 200 to avoid uh, hypoglycemia. So postprandial can be between 140 to maybe 220 and fasting can be between 100 to 140 and HbA1c around 78. So more amount of, more number of comorbidities a person has, we have to, our control uh, becomes little, you know, little less and uh, the, the, we don't go for very tight control in, in such cases. So elderly people will be little more liberal for control, younger people we will be little more aggressive in achieving a good control.